Welcome to another episode of Love Tech Live. We're going to tackle um, crawling the Google search engine today. And uh, we're going to use Selenium WebDriver. Um, I put together an article at lovetech.io slash bots. So just go to there. Um, if you need to down, uh, set anything up or download any JAR files or get links to the uh, Java JDK or Eclipse, Mars. Um, and I also have a link to the first episode in this series, which uh, goes over all this stuff. All right. Let's look at the uh, the code here. And we'll just, uh, let's start from scratch here. Just to kind of explain what's going on. So we have a bunch of helper files or functions that are defined on that same page. So the idea is that you can just come to here, copy anything you need. For instance, um, Google search is a good function. That queues off the first page of results. And then uh, this function, wait for Google search, uh, waits for the, the full page to load. And then this function, get Google search results, goes through the, the loaded page, and it um, it builds out a JSON array and returns that back. And then um, if you need to, you can call next Google search page. Um, and that'll go to page two in this case, in our example. And these are some good helper functions that we used in our last video that um, are good building blocks for all of our crawlers. They're uh, run JavaScript, which takes a JavaScript uh, string. And um, runs it, essentially. Uh, this is a cool function that just basically has the entire Java or jQuery source right there. So um, once you load a page, for instance, when we do Google search, um, Google doesn't use jQuery, but I like to use jQuery to crawl things. So uh, we load jQuery, and then we run this little uh, bit of code which focuses on the search box and submits the form pretty simple all right well let's uh, dive in with an example and uh, we'll take it from there so um, we set the the location of the chrome driver on my machine it's uh, c selenium chrome driver dot exe that might be different for you in in which case you should change that um, the cool thing about Selenium is you can use different drivers. Like there's a Firefox driver. I believe you'd need a, um, to set like the web driver dot Firefox dot driver um, property, and obviously it's a different exe. So uh, look into that. I like Chrome um, because it's got good dev tools. Firefox is fine too. And there's some interesting options that um, I'd like to get into in further videos, which have to do with the, um, just an in-cache, in-memory browser, which I'm hoping I can get to work on like an Ubuntu server. Or um, definitely we should be able to get it working on Ubuntu desktop. But we'll, um, we'll cross that bridge. It'll work on Mac, I know. But um, it'd be nice to be able to run it on a, um, a VPS, a virtual private server. All right, well, let's start here. So we, we establish our driver, and let's uh, run a Google search. Google search. Oh, I thought that would work. <laughs> Google search takes a driver, and it takes the phrase. So let's do um, freedom, or not freedom, sorry. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let freedom ring. And let's see what happens. Just let it ring. All right. So um, let's do the next step, which is wait for Google search. And once we know it's loaded, JSON array results is equal to 
um, get Google search results driver and then we'll print out Sorry. And let's run this guy. While this runs, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon. We're just getting started with the live streaming game, but we're in um, episode two of the streaming. Uh, sorry, of the uh, web crawling. And uh, we're going to be getting to lots of these major sites Google, Bing. Um, Google Images, Bing Images, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, we'll be crawling it. And um, all the source code will be available online. I'm trying to um, teach people how to fish here. So, see down here it says number of results 11. I think that's a success. And what we're getting on each result, by the way, and you can tweak this if you need to, but it gets the the links, um, or sorry, it gets the title, the big blue link text. It also gets the description. That's this. And it gets the title. Or sorry, <laughs> this should say um, the href. We already got the title. That's why it's good to, <laughs> to review your, your stuff. So let me uh, just make sure I change the... the other spot so that you guys don't get confused and so I don't get confused alright sorry about that so at this point we've got the first page of results but let's say I wanted to go um, for five pages no problem right so we just put a for loop. That was page one, right? So we'll start at int i equals two. Even though, although we don't even really use that, it's just kind of a. Uh, it's kind of interesting to know. We might as well sync up the i's with the, uh, or that counter in variable with what we're thinking about, which is pages. So um, i is less than how many pages did I say? Let's do five more pages. I think that's through seven. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. So yeah, that'll do five pages. And um, obviously we want to increment that I. Uh, JSON array um, page results is equal to get Google. And I, don't, I think I skipped a step. Yep. We want to uh, do the next page. we want to wait and then we can do it well, actually in this case see what we did up here is we did um, uh, within Google search it loads to jQuery so we had it for next next page requires jQuery so we'll put that Actually, so does get Google search results. So we'll put it right here so we have it in time. And then the, the last step is we do a for loop. We'll use J this time. For every page result. Then we're going to put into results. Boom. So let's get five pages of this thing. Actually, six pages. We move it over. It always queues it off into my other window. All right, you see we got 61 results there. That looks about right. Now we'll... um. 
say you were building a search engine. I think uh, I heard Bing got in trouble <laughs> for. Um, I heard this from a Google fanboy, so who knows? But I hear Bing got in trouble for just crawling Google search results and then using those. I'm not um, giving any technical advice here, but say you were trying to build a competitive search engine and you wanted to leverage the results of Yahoo, Bing, um, Google, and um, cross-reference. One thing you would do is you would, at least for the common queries, you would uh, crawl all the results for each of them and somehow store how they rank each result. Um, and the reason I bring all this up is say instead of just always wanting to do five pages, you wanted to go through every single page. Here's how we can do that. And it's also a way that we can error check in case there's not five whole pages. So the way that works is next Google search page returns either true or false. If it returns false, that means that the, the next page button does not exist which means you're on the last page. So what I could have done here is I could have said boolean has next is equal to that and only if there's a next page do the uh, subsequent logic here. Right? So this helps when we do this. I know I'm being very specific. Since we don't know how many pages there are, and there's no way to know from the beginning, we've got to use a while loop. While that, now we don't need this if. All right, let's just, I always like to um, just try it, see what happens. So here's page one, page two looks like it's off to a good a good loop here you can tell um, it waits until right after it loads so it's doing exactly as it should sometimes these pages are loading some of the pages load slower than the others um, so this is the most ideal way to do it instead of waiting you know a conservative amount of time and you, sometimes we do have to do that sometimes we have to say um, we don't know exactly how long this asynchronous operation is going to take, so let's uh, let's run the next thing in a minute, you know, or in ten seconds, or however long's a conservative, safe amount of time. So we're kind of just trucking here, ladies and gentlemen. I think that um, that's the end of episode two. Um, in the next episode. We will be crawling, um, let's just say in the next episode we'll be liking tweets. Um, we'll be finding people who are tweeting about um, JavaScript and jQuery and maybe crawling, crawling these Goliath tech companies and we'll, we'll show them some love. So uh, join us for episode three. It'll be coming in the next... Uh, next few hours. All right. Peace. Take care, everybody. I'm out.